<laughs> this one, uh, this one was requested. Uh, it's a uh, the scene where you are in Elmira's house, um, oh, looking for Mark. Yeah, this is going to be. Uh, this is where it gets a little more. Uh, I guess not heavy, but like you get that you get that range, right? So like uh, we just watched a few uh, clips of Barrett. We got to see you know that you know that that uh, leader type uh, Barrett. We got to see the funny Barrett. And now we're going to see the the father Barrett, you know what I mean? Like Daddy mm-hmm. Barrett coming in. And uh, this one was requested by S.M. Pollard. Um, says, my absolute favorite scene from Barrett has to be the scene with Marlene in Elmira's house. So here we go. Yes, Marlene. You, Pollard. Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair, she's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh, His face. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Marlene. It did her so good. Are you going? I know. She's a great Um, voice actress, too. Yes, put on your daddy. (laughs) I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? That's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind (sighs) of... What? Nothing. You should help her. (laughs) We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. You can go. Go <laughs> find the girl with the flowers. <laughs> Marlene. She was kind of flowery. Oh, all right, and then we're gonna get back to that one. But uh, but yeah, that w- that that scene in particular for me as well, and uh, I'm seeing a few people in chat as well thinking this 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 scene is is just one of the one of those the top moments in Final Fantasy VII Remake, just because like like I said, man, you get that whole range of character from Barrett, um, and like I think this is like the true Barrett. We get to see the true side of Barrett. Anytime, Marlene. So my my choice was. There's several things. I think we talked about it before. I didn't want Barrett to be looked at as this big black brute. I didn't want him to be stereotyped. I didn't want him to be a caricature. I didn't want him to be, you know, looked at as, you know, in a in a negative way as as many people look at, you know, my culture, my race. Uh, it's not many, not a lot. Well, some people. Um, and I just didn't want that. I didn't want to portray that, and I wanted to show his layers you yeah. know i wanted to show that he, he he's he's a man he's a he got many hats he's mm-hmm. a father he's a leader he's a confidant he's a friend there's so many different things and i just think that's lacking in so many different characters so thank god for an engine like this to uh allow me to be able to show these different ranges you know because i remember we got so much criticism from the trailers when when we were just advertising the game coming out oh he's he's he, they played a white guy got a white guy to a black guy's voice and he sounds like the guy from tropic thunder and da, da, da. i'm like oh, what are you talking about 
And it was mm. with no one knowing and people making guesses and coming up with their own assumptions. I'm not saying anybody's mm. name. And you couldn't know him. <laughs> no, you know, I, was, I was just like, I was just saying, I'm not talking about a specific person. But, you know, some people did that. And, you know, and then folks in, in my own culture were like, well, that's not how black people talk. I'm like, Barrett is taken from like my two of my uncles and how I would interpret them mm -hmm. and a dear friend. So it's kind of like, no, that's how uh, there are real people who talk like that. There are different generations that speak that way. And I combine different age groups of people that I know to put, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't have to justify myself in it, but those are the choices that me, John Bentley, as the actor uh, made. And so I wanted people to see that he wasn't just a stereotype. I wanted them to see the range. But for you to look at the beginning and make a judgment off of, that's how he is? Ah, oh, he's just, it's like, you got to see his journey. Mm -hmm. Because to me, every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And in between the beginning, the middle, and the end, there's all these little snippets and these slices of life. So mm -hmm. sit back and enjoy it before you criticize. But we live in a world, we live in a society. That that's the, I was going to say, that's the problem right there, just to hear yeah. one one line and then make a judgment. You know, like yeah, see I mean, one thing and make a judgment. Judge. Yeah, yeah, so um and I was told at a very young age, do not judge, at least not you be judged. And I didn't get it until I became like an adult. I'm like, "Oh, okay. Yep. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't be, <laughs> you know." So I was like, "Okay, it's all that." But mm -hmm. yeah, so I wanted people to see something completely different in this man, this stature of a man who when his little daughter comes in, mm -hmm. and, you know, and we many of us who are fans and know the story of Barrett and the relationship that he has with Marlene and the 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 reason he is the father of Marlene mm -hmm. when you know that you probably won't think all the stupid stuff yeah but when you when you recognize oh he's completely different with her than he is with anybody else and it's true the closest person that he reacts to like that is Tifa yeah because he's kind of he, sees yeah. her as almost like a little like a daughter mm -hmm. figure yeah mm -hmm. and eventually Aerith, you know mm -hmm. to some some degree yeah so and i would see even that i would even say cloud in, in a way oh like, yeah big time like and it's so it's it's so awesome uh at the beginning you know i loved it i love the evolution um so when you're when you see barrett and cloud they're always kind of like bantering back and forth with each Got other it. And then by yep. the end of the game, they're kind of like, you know, throw a little like friendly compliment in there, you know, for, like a little yep. friendly jabs. And it's it, it's really cool to see that, too. Whereas, like, you just kind of get got to get past that hard exterior of, of Barrett. Yeah. 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 And, and as a creator, Cloud is the teenager that Barrett would have had. And these are the things that he would have said to a boy if he had a young boy. And if mm -hmm. he had a boy and you had to take care of a boy, uh, raise up a little boy into a young man who's a teenager. These are the things he has to say. And as a young man, he didn't get it. You know, as, being the father of four boys, four young men now, do you go through that? So it's a little different raising a girl and a boy and then the age <laughs> difference. And so, mm -hmm. but yeah, I wanted all those dynamics there. And, you know, hopefully we did it. And apparently a lot of people like the choices we made. So, ooh. yeah. And this is going to be, a, I don't know, I don't know how, the, oh, wait, Vinny, you have something? I'm sorry, man. I, cut you off. Uh, I was just going to say, there's there's an interaction between Cloud and Barrett. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure you kept it in one of the clips. Uh, so when it comes up, I'll, I'll talk about it. But it, it, it there's just, um, a, along with the voice acting, there's just very subtle uh, things that the characters do along with the voice acting that just brings everything together and shows the the relationships and how they've grown and so I'll I'll point that out when when we get to it but there's there's a reaction uh, an interaction between Cloud and Barrett that I thought was very like um like a uh, a bond stronger than like family like when 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 friends become family it mm -hmm. I feel like it's stronger than uh, most like family bonds are mm -hmm. and you can kind of see it in that interaction. Yeah, because so. when you go through something like the end mm -hmm. of the world or the destruction of your planet or when you go through something, there's a, a fellowship and a kinship that's made that's unlike any other. That's why teams are so important. Mm -hmm. And a segue into teams, it's like the Final Fantasy crew, the, the, the remake crew, the team, both overseas and here in the United States, and they put it down, dude. Mm -hmm. They they put it together for all those people, those animators, those creators, those writers, those directors, everybody 
to put it together and create something like this, that's stunningly this beautiful, that can tell a tale with words or without. I mean, you just said something that's so important because the movement shows a bond too. Mm -hmm. Certain <laughs> movements that these characters have together show a bond. If you look at some of the movements with me and, and Red, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, those are bonds, you know, even in the back of the truck. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, because I mean, how many people, here's a perfect example. Red in the back of the truck with Barrett as opposed to Barrett on the train with those three people. Mm -hmm. You can the 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 physicality of the what they did for the mocap and what they did, it's it's visually stunning. Mm -hmm. So when you get a team, you know, like what Square Enix did, you got you're working with fire, baby. You cook it. <laughs> That's so true.